How's it going, Allotment Freaks? You all ready for another rip roaring episode of J at Plot Number Twelve? Uh, this week, I'm gonna I'm gonna saw that greenhouse frame in half. My um, brass, my scaffold netting's not turned up yet. So, but if we get the frame cut in half and extended, that's the worst part of it done, I suppose. And then just wrap it up when it comes. So, uh, strap yourselves in and hold on tight. See you in a bit. done is that middle section so one two third one in that one there I'm gonna go straight down the middle of that so I've marked it where it wants to be cut and I was gonna start cutting it so yeah so that's it cutting half and that's the rails that we're gonna use to bolt it together uh, just out of some din rail we had going spare so this one's doubled up along the top and we've just done it singly for down the sides so all I'm going to do is drill it through these couple of, probably do three holes through there and bolt it through both sides like you say that's the same that side same at the other end and the sides so as you can see there I've put the one bolt through the end drilled that one put that bolt through and then drilled the other holes where they need to be and we just put bolts through and wind them on all right i was just looking at which way i was going to do these now originally i'd planned to come along the inside there and put them so they're facing that way but the flex in these is that way so i'm thinking if they're that way round the flex is going to go side to side which is the stress that that's going to be under and if I put them that way at the bottom although well, they flex that way once they're bolted in either end it'll stiffen them up a bit but it's only going to be the wind side to side and that way they're a lot more solid so I'm going to do them that way so that's as far as I've got uh, there was, like I say, there was quite a bit of wobble in this. It's a long length. So what I've done, I had these brackets, well, they were flat. I had them knocking about, so I made up a little jig, bent them. And you look in there, it's at the sort of that shape. Bolted them through the top. And then these diagonals, they're like the extra pieces, you know, like see that one there? I had a few of them knocking about, so I was done with that. And don't get me wrong, you're never going to be able to, to climb on it. But uh, they do a decent job. Let's say I can give it a good wobble, it doesn't move. I think I could do with something along the bottom. Uh, I'm going to have a look around. I've got none of the metal left. I've got, I've got some bits of wood in the shed. I might look at doing it with that. But the whole point of it, the idea is is that that bed there, them group of eight beds, is the same size as that group of eight beds. So the idea is to have brassicas in it one year and pick it up, move it along and drop it down on that the next year so we can keep rotating back and two. So I don't want to put anything that's going to be too heavy, but it can always come undone again and move back. So yeah, that's as far as we've got so far. All right, guys got two things to announce it's the first flip flop allotment day of the year and the magnolia tree looks brilliant uh, all the flowers are really opening up on it now if you can see that one there a few there spin you around Yeah, that's sort of tree in full swing there. Uh, I missed this last year. I didn't see it. Um, so it's, when I took the plot on, it was, was it June. So I didn't see it this early in the year, and everyone said the flowers were brilliant on it. So I didn't see them. It tried to flower again 
early autumn but the flowers sort of stayed closed like that and the biggest they got open was sort of that but oh, it's fantastic it looks magnificent and i'm glad i didn't cut it down so yeah anyone's got a bit of an argument for not having non-crop productive trees on the allotment well how good's that one wonders for your mind looking at it so hopefully I can move them pallets today Bob's here next door there for him so I can move them and we should be able to see more of the tree so yeah right guys we've got a little bit of excitement once I moved them pellets there was a, well, a rat ran out of it I'd noticed one about on the path uh, about a fortnight ago so I stopped putting seed in the bird feeders which sit just above them uh, so I stopped putting that in, I'd not seen any for a bit and then that one ran out from under the pellets and then as I'm sat up at the other end looking up I'm like, that's where I'd be. How them blocks are sat on the floor, there's none to the one block height, it's a fence at the other side, nothing can get in. I've disturbed it, well I've, I've just jumped on top of it and I'm sure I heard some that's scuttling about so I'm just stripping it back down and if there is a nest there we'll try and disturb it and then hopefully it'll clear off. Right guys so I've shifted them all and luckily there's nothing under there. Doesn't look like anything's been under there. It's a sound so let's see if I can put them somewhere it's not going to make a base like that for them to get in under. Right so I've just restacked them blocks of wood. I've tried to stack them in a way so there's not a big void underneath them so it's three of them in contact with the floor now. I mean, depending on how long they're there, that's three that are going to get ruined. But we can, we'll, we'll take the gamble with that. So not have a rat's nest underneath it. But I was just sat at the other end of the shed. I'll put the other end of the plot then. Because they're taking my boots off. I'd put my boots on to do that. I weren't moving that in flip-flops. Yeah, so I'd, I'd put my boots on to do that. I wasn't doing that in flip-flops. So I just got up the other end of the plot, sat down. Put my trainers back on, have a minute. And I was looking at it. And since I've stacked them there, I quite like the idea of having a little wall. Where is it there? A little wall there, because all that way, I've got all them perennials on order, so that's going to be full of flowers all round to the pond. So what I'm thinking is the rosebush that's on the fence there, there's one the other side of the gate, and there's another one in between that and the magnolia tree. I'm thinking of maybe make a little seating area there. Uh, yeah, maybe make a little seating area where all that rubbish is. All right, it's at the front of the plot. I suppose it's like sitting in your front garden or sitting in your back garden at home. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but no, I'll get all that rubbish moved. And then I think you can put some block papers in, like a nice brickwork floor sort of thing. You say a little table on there, a little table and chairs there. You can sit there, look through the flowers, well, hopefully all the wildlife, that all the insects and bees that'll be going through that. And then look down that way along the plot and just, you know, keep us eye and see how far we're getting on with it. But, yeah. So, no, I've got a bit done there today. So, uh, yeah, cheers, guys. Uh, you're still here. Uh, you've got this far. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and all that. I'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit.